So here is the Nim, uh, no, the Firebolt. And here's what I came up with with the, the pedals or foot rests on it. I found the thickest piece of wire I could find and then drilled a hole into the broom and bent the the metal into the shape. It's pretty simple, but it does look it does look very nice. And then I might build it up a little bit with some hot glue. We'll see. Um, but I got speaking of hot glue, I got the hot glue stripped down, um, and then it dried, and then a little bit here because this broom has two bands of metal. And uh, I'm gonna let you know this kind of set just a little bit. It's pretty much dry. But uh, once it does, then I'm going to paint. It has like a, five different colors. I got to do the the uh, gray for the metal, the brown for the broom. There's a light tan color for this side, and then flip it over. Then it's like a dark brown, kind of similar to to the uh, broom part. So it's got a couple different colors there that I got to finish. Oh, and I also built up this. The thing still spins. But uh, I built this up with the hot glue too, kind of drawing with it and building it up so it looks like a, a metal, you know, little opening there. So there's the fire vault. So let me go ahead and put some paint on it. And I'll be right back. Alright, so here's the Nimbus 2001 right next to the fire vault that's drying. Got, uh, most of it done actually he's this one's pretty much done except for I need to put the uh, the name of the broom on top I think it's right here but other than that it's all painted up and I'll show you what I used for the wire I mentioned I found the thickest wire I could find this is an old hanging fire uh, file cabinet um, insert to you know for file cabinets to hang on uh, this old file cabinet that we don't use anymore so I uh, basically unscrewed it and used this one piece for this, just straightened it out flat, put it through the broom and then used a vise to hold onto it so I could bend it in the right shape. And then I used these two short pieces here to make these two parts for the, um, the Nimbus broom. So it's hot glued in the center just to hold it still and I actually used a, just a piece of black duct tape which is super strong and then I painted over it. It's not perfect but it does look like metal and uh, the hot glue just wasn't strong enough so I just used this and it's actually perfect. It swivels just enough so that you can put it down um, like a little stand position uh, when it, the broom is lying parallel with ground or you can just leave it up like that. So this one is like I said practically done. This one just needs some more paint. I'm gonna do the brown and then the other side here needs uh, the brown as well to continue the broom color. And uh, that's about it. So these brooms are looking pretty good and then I got the Nimbus 2000 coming to being, being cut out of wood and I'll or excuse me, out of foam, and I'll show you that one soon. But I just want to let you know how, how I did the, the metal part, which is pretty close. This one should have a little thicker wire or uh, metal piece, but I'm not going to worry about that. I, can, I don't have another piece of metal that's that thickness, but it's, it's pretty close. I like it. Okay, both the Firebolt and the Nimbus 2001s are finished. You can see the whole broom. I got this one turned around so you can see the, the logo on there. I'll turn it around in a second and you can see the rest of it. And I really like the way the hot glue worked. It's actually better than I thought it was going to be and even better than real straw in my opinion. And it was really fast and easy. This part is drying a little bit, but I got the little glyphs on there. Yep. And then you can see it from the side. It's 
got like the wooden arc pattern on it. And then there's the other side. See, it's all edging on there. Relieved real nicely with the clay. So that one, that one is looking really good. Put that one there. And then this one, I flip it around like this. You can see the bottom with the metal the little kickstand thing. You know, this goes up and down, swivels. And uh, yeah, the boys can have some real fun with this thing. Very, very cool. I like the way it all turned out. Not bad for a little homemade project. Okay, you can come out. Come and see him. Well, you like him? <laughs> Are they cool? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's supposed to be heavy. Look at you! Very cool. Huh? You have the hieroglyphs on there. It's like magic little symbols. What does it mean? I don't know, actually. I think it might say Firebolt. My sister named it 2001. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. Isn't that cool? You just sit on them and fly. You fly. Get the snitch. Get the snitch. Get the snitch. Get the snitch. <laughs> Very good. Good job. There we go. Check it out. Nice. Very good. They even prop up right. That's right. And then you fly away. Like, pretend you're flying. There you go. See? Sweet. Nice job.